registration. But as you mentioned that there was another property uh, across that was successfully rezoned. Is that? Yes, ma'am. Can you just, how did that happen? If you look on the screen, thank you, ma'am. Uh, there's a small piece of R1 here. And that R1 was obtained in 2005 um, under the name of James Simpson. And it was a case where it was for, um, it was for the applicant to be able to deed one acre to his son, um, staffed with similar concerns about the area, recommended against it. Um, the planning commission recommended for it, and then the county commission actually recommended for it, or in that case. And so that was before we had our provisions for family ties, which we currently use for cases such as that, where it's going from a property owner to a son. Um, but they, they did obtain the rezoning. At that time, it was in 2005. So is, is this a family tie situation? By name only, I think, the answer is, is yes, because it went from a grandmother to grandchildren. But where that breaks down for us is the grandchildren now want to sell it to somebody who's not a family member. So that's not in keeping with the intent of family ties. Family ties for conveyance from one family member to another. Because now the property is going from grandchildren to a resident citizen developer, other person who's not in the family relationship than we we wouldn't count as his family ties. And would be set for That's that is primary concern here is uh, I've learned that zoning can be contagious and when you put R one down here, you tend to attract the other R one and that's my concern. All right, is there any other discussion about the commissioner? If not, I will entertain a motion from the commissioner. Mr. Chair, well, um, I think this is a, a very unfortunate situation that uh, the applicants are facing here. Sounds like they have sought avenues to resolve the issue with other family members, but to no avail, getting absolutely no cooperation. And uh, also because of the precedent that there is R1 down the road. I think that there is some precedent that's already been set to exist uh, in the area. And it's also a shame, you know, that they're facing a situation where they can't do anything with a piece of property because it's caught in some sort of a zoning glitch. And um, rather than just sit there and let the house rot down, as they're saying, because they're already in existing homes, everybody's established where they are, I think it would make sense uh, to help this family and to help them resolve this issue um, and uh, grant approval of this request. So therefore, I make the motion to approve this request. Thank you very much for Mr. Wallace. I'll second. Second by Mr. Willis. Is there any discussion on the motion? There being none, all in favor, please indicate by raising your hand. All opposed to the thing, right? Motion passes six to one.